hey you guys welcome back to another video um today this is actually going to be my first time doing the mama towel um which you know is about to be mother's day so this is kind of what people do so i wanted to give it a try and make it um then i have my cricut so i'm gonna kind of walk through the steps here so i go into my cricut design space and i have a macbook air so i'm just go inside of here i already have a project but that's for my mom and my mother-in-law so i'm gonna go ahead and make me one first and i want to be able to see how i do with it um the towel that i have is a uh, oyster gray four by 12. so i'm just gonna go here and i'm gonna create a text and then the text i'm just gonna put mama where's it capitalized Okay. And I'm gonna just resize this. Probably gonna go eleven point five by three. Okay. Then I wanna switch the font. Just do a basic font. Okay, then I'm gonna create another text and I'm gonna put my kid's name. So, Brooke, okay, so with the Times New Roman, I don't know, I have to look it up because it's not letting me do the heart thing, but I know everybody uses the I Love Glitter, which I downloaded from Defont. Um, I am still learning this. So, I think it was uh, the shift and the, um, I don't know what you would call it. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm gonna put Brooklyn. Brooklyn. And then I'm gonna do another shift like that. Then major. Do my kid's name. One day. Okay, as you can see, that's a little bit big. So let me. Oops, it's making it bigger. Let me make it smaller, which I'm going by the font size. So I'm going to make it smaller. And then you see how the words are too spaced out? I'm going to go right here by the letter space, and I'm going to bring them closer together. So as you can see, let's see, like that. Okay. And then, I don't know what color I want it. Let me see, I'll probably do, um, I like blue, I'll probably do blue, and then keep this black. Okay, I know y'all hear my daughter in the background. Okay, let me kind of. I'm gonna fix it to my liking. Like that. Mama, I don't think. Okay, good job. Okay. So like that. So you basically just play with it and everything before you're ready um, to start the cut. I went ahead and I did switch the um, when I switch it this um with my kid's name. Let me make sure. Hold on. Sorry, y'all give me a minute. Okay, now that one's not trying to let me grab it. Okay. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Let's move it back. Okay. Got my kid's name. There we go. And I put the size to 11.5. Just want to make sure. I'm going to see how it is, how I like it. Major ones and, okay, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and print this out. Um, again, it's going to print this one and then it's going to also print this one all together. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on the towel and I'll be back. So another thing as well, um, before I go ahead and cut this out, I want to let you guys know, you always want to make sure you take a picture or at least write this down to remember what type of vinyl um, or whatever it is that you're using, whether it's heat press, you need to make sure because when you're printing this for the Cricut, 
you want to make sure you get the correct name for you to be able to click. Um, I definitely learned that. So definitely make sure you remember the name. So this is a premium vinyl. So that will be the option that I will print once I click make it. Thank <laughs> you. 